hello viewers welcome back in this particular video we will look at another a sold examples from the first chapter of the book strength of materials written by timo schenker and gary so in this problem we have a flange joint so flange joints are used to connect two shafts together and mainly a flanged connection like this will enable the transfer of torque from one shaft to the other. So that's the whole purpose of having a flange joint in your structure. Flange joints are used in some of the automobiles and in applications where torque, torque transfer is necessary. So having done with the introduction in this particular problem we need to calculate the average shear stress in each of these bolts so we have got four bolts here and they are at a pitch circle diameter or pcd of 150 mm like they are uh, all the four bolts are placed on a circle and um, the circle diameter is 150 mm and you are designing it or the bolts are intended to transfer a torque of 10 kilo newton meter and the diameter of the bolt is 20 mm the question is what is the average shear stress that you are anticipating in your joint so pause the video try to solve the problem on your own if you can't solve then listen to the rest of the video so, as the first step, I'm drawing the free body diagram of one single flange. So, the one single flange is acted upon by an external torque of 10 kN. So, the bolts in the flange will resist that torque by generating some forces. Considering the symmetry of the problem, we can assume that forces generated in each of the bolts will be C. As you can clearly see, the sense in which these forces are acting, they are trying to resist the flange rotation in the direction of the applied torque. You can see the external torque is trying to rotate the flange in this direction as shown by this arrow, while the forces offered by the bolts are trying to rotate the flange in the opposite direction so both of them are trying to balance the effect of the other now bringing in equilibrium into picture this t0 will be equal to if the sum of the individual forces like there are four forces so moment due to individual forces so there's a sigma simple show summation this is pretty simple so this will be four times the force times d by two because they are act the diameter of the PCD or the pitch circle diameter is 150 mm we are calculating the moment about this point O let's let's call it O and we are saying since the flange is in equilibrium you take the sum of the moments about O you should get zero that means T0 is balanced by the by these four forces makes sense so then Continuing with the mathematical equation, we are here, 2FD, clear. Keep in mind that this particular D is not the diameter of the bolt, it is the pitch circle diameter. Okay, now, the force in the bolt can be written as the average shear stress in the bolt times the pi by 4 d square which okay let me use a different d so the diameter of the bolt i will write it like 
d p diameter of the bolt okay so this is like this like if you have a bolt like this then this is the shear radius okay if you look at if you view the, it from this side then it will look like something a circular area that's why this is db and that's why the resisting area is pi by 4 db square then plugging it here in this expression t f will be to average into pi by 4 diameter of the bolt square times the pcd then to average is t0 times 2 pi diameter of the bolt square times d now everything is known external torque is let me make some space so your external torque is 10 kilo newton meter so uh, kilo newton meter i will make that in mm so i will do this small mathematic jugglery then yeah i forgot the two so this is 10 kilo newton millimeter then pi is there and diameter of the bolt is 20 millimeter square times d bit pcd is 150 mm as i always say just check whether dimensions are correct they are correct because the resulting dimensions will be newton per mm square now just use your calculator plug in those numbers and get the value for the average shear stress if you substitute these values then the answer will be 106.1 newton per millimeter square which is same as megapascal so that is your answer so that is the kind of average shear stress that will be experienced by your bolt when you have that kind of a flange joint to transmit in torque of 10 kilonewton meter